Welcome to Tony's Restaurant. For this week's resolution menu, we're making eggplant gondola and I'm Chef Austin Waiter. Today, we are going to be doing the eggplant gondola. We are going to be using Japanese eggplant and we're going to cut these lengthwise just so that it grills up really nicely. I really like the eggplant. It's a little bit smaller in size and it's got a really nice texture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that lengthwise and we're just going to score it. Not too deep, but just gently into the flesh so that that salt and that olive oil can release a little bit of the moisture. So once we have the eggplant cut, we are going to season it with salt. And we have our own Tony's olive oil. You can use just an extra version of olive oil that you get at the store as well. And now what we're gonna do is grill that for four to five minutes on each side. And that's gonna be our base to the eggplant gondola. Next, what we're gonna do is create the topping for the eggplant gondola. We're going to start with a little bit of our extra virgin olive oil here. So you want to turn your pan on medium heat and you do not want it to get too hot as the hotter the temperature, the more the olive oil will burn and lose its flavor profile. So we wanna to continue to keep that wonderful extra virgin olive oil flavor. So once we have our olive oil in a pan, we're gonna do the sliced garlic first. And we're just going to cook this until it becomes aromatic, but we do not want to brown the garlic. So after about one or two minutes, this will be nice and aromatic, making a wonderful smell in your home. We're going to add our fennel pollen. You can find this just at your local grocery store. This is something that I love cooking with. Um, really creates a wonderful smell and flavor profile. Gently bring that up and we are going to add our tomatoes. Adding your tomatoes now will stop that garlic from browning. So we're just gonna give that a nice little stir. And now we're gonna season with a little bit of salt. We wanna go really light on this as this is more about freshness and quality of ingredients. And now we're going to cook this until the tomatoes start to soften for about two to three minutes. So while that is cooking, this is how our eggplant will come out. You'll see it's nice and soft and it's shrunk a little bit. It's got some nice um, grill marks on it. It's nice and tender. And that is what we're going to top. So now that our tomatoes are releasing that liquid, you'll see that you get a little bit more liquid in the pan. That's gonna be really, really nice flavor. And we're gonna add these Tuscan Corona beans. These have been cooked gently in stock. You can make it with vegetable stock, chicken stock, um, plain water, or if you don't have Corona beans, a good way um, to substitute it is cannellini beans. So now that this is released some of its moisture, I like my tomatoes to be soft, but not um, completely overcooked. So we're gonna start adding our basil. So what I like to do is just hand tear it. If you chop it at home, um, sometimes it'll get a little too brown and loses its flavor. So this is a good way and a rustic way to add basil to your sauces. And now we're just going to stir this in. So now once the tomatoes have released their moisture, still nice and tender, and the beans are in there nice and hot, what we're gonna do is we're going to build our eggplant separately, and then we're gonna put it on the plate so it looks nice and beautiful. This is wonderful for the family. You can grill off a couple eggplants, garnish them, and it's a really nice side dish. If you have a vegan or vegetarian, it's really nice as well, and it's very healthy. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna top these eggplants 
this wonderful mix. Now what we're gonna do this wonderful eggplant. We're gonna put it nicely on the plate. I like to use a little spatula, it helps pick this up. You can build them right on the plate as well if you'd like. So once we have our eggplant on our plate, I like to do a little bit of the fresh herbs. So we have the tops of the fennel, so the fennel fronds, which are really, really pretty. They're flavorful and they're nice and delicate. And we can do a little bit of fresh basil as well. I love basil, it just goes well on everything. And I like to finish it, just kind of play into the sweetness, um, give you a little bit of acid. We do 25 year old balsamic. This is something you can get at the store as well. Just something nice to complement the dish with, give a little contrast. And there we go. So that's our eggplant gondola here at Tony's restaurant for the resolution meal.